Sandy! How are you? Great to see you. This one is mine. These little ones are mine. I call these the itty bitties. How long did it take you to make that one? So that one probably three to four days. Darlene Liker has a way with first impressions. Yeah, it just depends on how many different colors there are in that one. There's a lot of colors in that one. Her art speaks loudly and very creative. Vibrantly. (laughs) Very creative. But no impression is quite like the one absolutely made 35 years ago. It's my best friend. Me too. <laughs> her husband, Bob, her travel partner across the world. Through her art, a journey she's shared with others. Catches your breath a little bit. I might need a tissue. So when I see those paintings, I you know, have a remembrance of the trip that we took. Surfside Beach, that was a memory there. Every trip. Places that we've been, the actual trunk of the tree is a real paintbrush. Even the ones uh, no one, one enjoys here. taking. Mine was just a little lump and mine was benign, but hers was cancer. Darlene's mother was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2013. She had her own scare soon after. First I start with the background. Right. Both had mastectomies, surgeries to remove parts of the breast. It takes a piece of your body away. Those are intentional drips. And while most search to fill the void, try to cover the entire canvas, Darlene found it. Non-toxic acrylics, for obvious reasons. Filling a canvas. (laughs) I don't know anybody else that does this kind of art. Then they look at it and they'll go, really? First time she told him, you know, his eyes went directly down and then he looked at me and said, sorry, Bob. (laughs) It's time to reveal, so. It's that time, y'all. Because no one else is like and Darlene. Tonight, you get to see what the Channel 8 guys got to experience at my house. Because <laughs> they were the first ones that ever got to see me paint. <laughs> she knows a picture is simply an expression of an impression. So it was a very interesting day. Darlene Liker paints. My husband has never seen me paint. With her breasts. It was just a crazy idea I had (laughs) at the time because he was out of town. And it was like, well, how do I make him excited to come home? You can see that it's coming up. So I've got a lot of paint on there. So A technique she's quietly perfected over 10 years. I call this boo bonnet drive. Not the blue bonnet, it's a boo bonnet because this Texas girl put her boo bonnet. A series of squeezes and presses and canvas rotations using only vibrant colors. The worst part, I think, was... Because cancer has a way of muting any stroke of color. I wasn't going to cry. I see survival. I see um, hope. Mecca and Susan are breast cancer survivors. And that part of their lives share a space on their walls. As it does Darlene's. Maybe my heart. Sad. I just think that is so pretty. Right, it is. Yeah, I really like that. Every dollar she makes off her art goes to breast cancer research. So this is it. It's her part, her way of making a difference. Donna, nice to meet you. They just opened this gallery in McKinney. Use them while I got them. She has raised thousands of dollars so far. I'm Darlene, the boob artist. Darlene gives new meaning to impressionistic art. My sister wants me to paint a buffalo, and I'm like, I can't paint a buffalo. (laughs) She takes you to a place she and too many others have been before. Again, thank you for coming, and enjoy your evening. In DFW, I'm Jobin Punnikert.